Today, I thought I would talk about adaptogens. So this is the first of a little series which I'm going to be conducting, which is all about how, like, things I'm learning to teach you guys and things I, like, already kind of know about but kind of get a deep of a deeper understanding of what they are and how they make your body feel. So adaptogens are non-toxic plants that help the body resist certain stresses. So this can be the stress hormone or all kinds, they adapt to what your body needs. So I decided to do some research on the top 10 that I personally have really researched into and I have used numerous of, numerous ones of them. So the first one I wanna talk about is as ashwagandha. Now I actually take this in capsule form. So this is a, it adapts to your body and helps to relieve stress. And anxiety. So this is an Aadhavedic, which is an Indian herbal remedy to help reduce our stress hormones. So these adapt with the body to make sure that we do have less stress and less stress hormone in our, in our bodies. So you can have this in tea. I know that Puka do one with a mild form of ashwagandha, but I actually take it in capsule form. I take this first thing in the morning. And I also do take it straight after training, or you can take it at night. It kind of can be used at any time. So ashwagandha is a great universal one as adaptogens do adapt with your body. So that is their purpose. The second one I'd like to talk about is called Tulsi. So got my notes here, you know, always learning. Tulsi reduces physical and mental stress, stress and depression. So this has been statistically proven to help reduce like kind of the sadder hormones. And obviously it's okay to feel not 100% every day. Like I try to explain to people without no highs in life, you have no lows. But Tulsi really helps regulate the depressive hormone and stress and anxiety in general. So I actually drink this one in tea form by Puka. And I know it's not going to be the strongest dose. And if you were to have Tulsi leaves, it would strain a lot better. But I believe this is probably the most universal and easiest way you can have it. Also, a little side note about adaptogens that I recently learned is you shouldn't use more than two in a day because otherwise your body can't adapt. Also, if your body is used to using them, like for example, my body is used to using ashwagandha. I've used it now for about nine months and you should cycle off them so that your body can regulate and kind of not just be so reliant on them. So it's really important to have both. So the third one I'd like to talk about, I use quite often and have done for about over two years now is licorice. So licorice root also reduces stress. So adaptogens in general is focused around stress, but there are other ones that kind of have different universal properties as well. I really like aniseed and licorice and the, the taste of it, but it's actually proven to adapt to help reduce your stress hormone. Number four, Oh, side note on to licorice. You can actually have licorice in tea, coffee, sweets. You want the pure form. You don't want to have the sugar form. You know, that's not going to be reducing your stress. If anything, that will cause you a sugar rush and then a crush. You want to be having it in its pure form. So, or teas. Teas are such a good way to have an adaptogen in a very small dosage. If you were to move to capsules, make sure they're organic and registered and make sure you're getting them from a legitimate source. So, quarter steps are another adaptogen which helps boost stamina. So if you're doing long endurance training or slightly higher, heavier training, I would definitely recommend cordyceps because they really, really work. Number five is goji berry. Now goji berry, I could see on everyone's food and I was like, okay, what, what are the health benefits behind this? I know blueberries got loads of antioxidants in and it's the best berry of all them all, debatable obviously. But it boosts energy, calmness, helps you sleep and sense of well-being. So goji berry is such a good one and it tastes really nice. It's quite bitter by itself and you can sprinkle it onto yogurt or you can sprinkle it onto, uh, you can mix it into a shake. It's got so many different properties and it is really, really nice. Another, uh, the sixth one I would like to talk about is astrag astragalus, astragalus, I could be saying this completely wrong, but it combats fatigue. So if you are one person who does feel tired or you don't understand what's going on, it really, really helps combat fatigue. I personally haven't used this one, but I have heard and read and researched, you know, 
that this really, really does help. American ginseng is number seven, and this boosts the working memory and immunity. So right now, American ginseng could be really, really helpful for a boost in your immunity alongside vitamin C and everything else that you're seeing on the internet. Go buy this, go buy that. It really, really helps you and will help boost your memory. And I personally would like to remember as much as I can. So alongside soaking almond, which is an old Indian tradition, I think it's a good adaptogen. Number eight is Radia Rasea. So it starves off physical and mental fatigue. So it will help if your mind is always active like mine is. It will help reduce that. Some of these adaptogens are a lot easier to get than others and to take than others. I'm completely understanding of that. But trying to find the ones that you can easily access are really really important and i'll make sure i link all of the names of them in the description bar with some links if i can try and find any legitimate links um the last adaptogen i'd like to talk about is the most commonly used one and that is turmeric now turmeric is an anti-inflammatory which only really activates with pepper so if you are going to cook with turmeric do try and cook with black pepper as they work together as an anti-inflammatory in your body they will help not just de-bloat you but they will help reduce your stress and they also reduce depression but you do have to be careful with doses of all adaptogens so don't just go in and start using five of them to reduce stress try one try another one some of them have stronger taste than others i really like the taste of tulsi but not everyone does find what works for you and that will be beneficial in the long run so I hope you like this little short series. I'm thinking to do like health series or something along this line. Just let me know and thank you.